Hello everyone, this is the Humble Gamer back again. Banjo 2E. Oh dear, yesterday. Oh wow, I can't believe I actually said that before I even said what that means. So, I'm recording this the day after the last uh, three episodes were recorded. Um, so I literally left this game on overnight, which was kind of strange. It was just sort of paused, like on my screen all night. Just on Terry. What a weird way to sleep. But um, today we're going to finish off Pterodactyl Land, or what we can of it, which is literally just one thing. Um, and then we're going to go and do some backtracking, I think. Uh, yeah. I think that's about right. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, we... Uh, where are we going? Um, oh, right. Yeah, we have to go to the family cave. Okay. So, what we have to do is something that I should have done earlier, but I left till last, because I couldn't really be bothered to do it yesterday. I just wanted to get everything else out of the way. But, uh, do you remember the dinosaur that we found in Witchy World? Do you remember the one that was caged up and said he needed to get on the train? Well, uh, we need to bring the train back to Pterodactyland, so he goes back to his family. Uh, and then we need to go and fix a couple of other members of the family up. Um, so, which is closer to the cave? Uh, Wamba's Wigwam, I think, actually. Uh, okay. Oh, man. I had a fantastic sleep last night. I slept until, like, 12. <laughs> midday. God, I hate it. I hate sleeping in. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> morning's been alright. It's a nice sunny day, so... I woke up to some nice sun. Uh, I put my dinner on and it's going to be done in about 25 minutes or so. So uh, hopefully after this is recorded, I should be good. Um, okay, so before we actually do everything else we need to do in here, uh, we actually need to pick up a honeycomb, empty honeycomb piece, which is actually in here. Um, this is a pretty interesting little cave, actually. I like this this Stegosaurus family. They're, they're pretty cool, to be fair. Um, there we go. I could get an extra life bar now. Oh, god damn it, Kazooie, you fucked up. Uh, I could get an extra life bar. So, uh, so this is the Stegosaurus family. Um, in here there are four Stegosauruses, a mother and three children. Uh, this child here is sick and needs to be healed, so we need Mumbo for him. This child here is the one from Witchy World, who will uh, be fine when we bring the train to the world. And this guy over here, we need to backpack with Banjo over to the uh, the train once it's here. So, we need to talk to this gal. Go away. Leave Scrotty alone. Why are you so sad? My family isn't keeping too well. Let's hear all the problems you want me to fix. Oh, Kazooie. You cheek. Look at my eldest, Scrat. He's very sickly and needs a doctor urgently. Doctor. Which doctor? I don't care. Any doctor will do. Are you, uh, are you, are you fond of a man called Doctor Who? I can get him for you. You know, wee -oo, you know, fucking... Oh, God, I wish I could do, like, special effects. I could have, like, the, the weird vortex thing turn up on the screen. Yeah, Strut's gone missing. She took some money from my purse. How do you take my... Stegosauruses don't... Hmm, I'm gonna hold back on those questions because they are not for today. Um... We'll see what we can do. You know, it's just come to my attention I might not be able to do any backtracking in this video. But I might do one more video after I've eaten my dinner today. And then that'll be it for Banjo-Tooie for a, a week or so for me. Um, I need to get back to playing Skyward Sword. Because that's a game I, I only started. Um, I've been saying that for ages too. I started it like three weeks ago. But I got attached to Wind Waker. So I, uh, I sort of forgot about Skyward Sword. Um, and of course there's Twilight Princess and Minish Cap and goddamn just too many games. Um, I'm, I'm the kind of person that, uh, I mean I'm a casual gamer, I'm not a hardcore gamer, so I don't, you know, I, I don't spend a lot of time um, playing a single game. Or at least, you know, I don't like, you know, spread it out over a long period of time. I tend to play a game straight up just, you know, for a couple days to finish it. Um, and then I'll move on to another game. So, I suppose, I don't know if all casual gamers play games like that, but that's what I do. So, 
So we're bringing uh, Chuffy the Magic Dragon Train. Uh, what? Uh, no, we're bringing Chuffy the Train from Witchy World. It seems like so long ago that we uh, we are opened up and, and took the train to Witchy World, and now we're bringing it to Pterodactyl Land. Uh, it won't be here for long though. A couple episodes from now, we'll be bringing this baby somewhere else. In fact, we might even be bringing it somewhere else in this episode. Um, in fact, we will be. I hope Mum won't be too mad at me. Oh boy. I hope she won't be the kid, because otherwise you'll get a damn spanking. A hard spanking, if you know what I mean. Whoops. Anyway. So that's one out of three kids. Um, oh dear. Thanks for returning my lost child. She'll be cleaning out our cave for the next month as punishment. What a punishment. Good lord. Okay, so now we need to sort out the sick kids. So we need to go to Mumbo for that. Um, one of the coolest features in this game when I first played it was the train. I especially love the part coming up with this family where you have to like, like drive the train somewhere else. I always thought that was pretty cool. Um, anyway, we need to go to Mumbo. So let's actually go around this way because it's a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I love the chuffing train. Chuff, Chuffy is a pretty cool train to be cool, to be fair, to be honest. TBH, you're not the first, never mind. Um, <laughs> when I went on holiday last year, I, um, I, I watched, I witnessed a steam train pulling out of a station. It was the first time I'd ever seen something like that, and it's so powerful. Like, steam trains are extremely powerful machines. Like, you wouldn't expect them to be as powerful as they are. Um... Because, I mean, like, there's there's a lot of power in those engines. Um, here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of power in those engines, man. Like, especially, like, when the train starts puffing away, you know, and the smoke starts puffing out, you know, pum, 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 out of the top. It is extreme. Like, it, the, the base that comes with that is extreme. Um, I have video, actually, of it, but I don't think I'll show it. If I'll do, you'll know, because it will, like, cut in or something. Um... Anyway, let me get Mumbo, because we need to help that poor little defenseless babby. Uh, and then we need to get the third babby to the train. Um, we need to use Mumbo twice in this episode, so we get a nice even coating of Mumbo everywhere. It's funny, really, because mu like, in the first game, Mumbo helps you change into stuff. Um, and in this game, he helps you out, and Humber does the changing you into stuff. And it, it sort of made me wonder years ago, like, you know, who thought of that? Who who came up with that idea? Like, oh yeah, we should have Mumbo actually help out in this game, and then we should make like a whole new character for the changing you into creatures and stuff, you know. Um, I wonder who came up with that idea, because it's so clever, you know. I mean, the whole like idea of Mumbo actually being able to get up out of his chair in this game and help you out. I like the uh, sort of refurbishing of his house in this game. It's, it looks nicer than in the previous one. But anyway, <laughs> second babby is going to get fixed now. Um, what time are we at? We're at nine minutes. It's about eight minutes. we got enough time. we got more than enough time to do what needs to be done. Literally all we need to do to uh, fix the rest of this is just... Um, take the other baby to the train, take the train where it needs to go and get the baby fixed and then bring the train back and the baby will run back here and we'll get the jiggy automatically. So that won't take long, I don't think. Uh, however, we do need to get back to Mumbo's first. Getting the baby on the train is enough bloody effort. Um, it's a baby. A baby. I want... Uh, wait a minute. Get in my belly. Um... Fuck. Austin Powers was a great movie. Um, I say um a lot. They should call me Sir Um a lot. That sounds really strange when I say it like that. Sir Um a lot. Um, I don't know. It's just a thing I do because I tend to, uh, when I commentate, I tend to not know what I'm talking about. Or I tend to lose my way halfway through a sentence. I, I just have to say, um, in order to give me a moment to think what I was going to say next. I don't know what you call that. There's like a word for that when you have like sentence uh, splitters. Like, 
you know when when you have uh, when you say something that splits a sentence up for a split second to give your brain a moment to catch up you know there's a word for those uh, those sort of words <clears throat> but i don't know what it is i wish i knew cuz i use them a lot um and uh and uh and you know and you know actually that's something i use a lot anybody else use those it's kind of strange I feel like I'm the only one that uses those sort of sentence splitters. Um, let me entertain you. Oh wow, I love how um, how easy it is for me to just breeze through this game. You know, it's so like casual. It's kind of weird too, because like I look at it, I look at this and I'm like, uh, you know what? Like I could be talking a little bit more, talking about a little bit more, like. Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, the starters for it were announced yesterday, and I never said anything about it during the videos yesterday. Um, there we go. I never said anything about that during the videos yesterday. So it was kind of strange, because I could have said something about it. Funny story, actually. I've said before the first game I ever played was Pokemon Red on the Game Boy. I, <laughs> I, have, a fa I have a truth to tell. I only played that uh, Pokemon that one time. That was the only time I played Pokemon, right? The full story to that, if you'll give me a moment to tell you, um, is that uh, my brother was playing Ocarina of Time on his N64, and I was watching him, and I was four years old at the time, and his Game Boy was sort of sitting on the side. Um, and I picked it up and started playing around with it. And uh, and he paused the game, because he noticed me playing with it, and he... Um, <clears throat> He picked up Pokemon Red and he stuck it in and he said, here you go, have a go at this. And, uh, and so I uh, gave it a play. And I ended up playing it for about, I think, an hour and a half, two hours, uh, something around that mark. Uh, and then I, I sort of put it down and I, I took interest in what he was playing, Ocarina of Time, and played that instead. And I never played a Game Boy or a Pokemon game ever again. So, yeah, it's been a long time since I ever played a Pokemon game. I never got into them. I only played it once. Oh, shit. I need to get Kazooie over here. I forgot about that. So this cloud here will allow you to switch up. Um, so you can go back to Kazooie here and bring her over. It's like, Kazooie, I'm wet. Come over. I mean, I mean Banjo, I'm, I'm wet. Come over. Um, so, damn it. That was a... I tried to make a sexual joke and it just went completely wrong. That is me in a nutshell. I tried to make a joke and it went completely wrong. Also, we are at about 12 and a half minutes, um, if there is a minute at the beginning. Uh, hopefully we've got enough time here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I get some health here? Um, okay. We've got a very short amount of time in which to do this. We have to get this train to a specific place. Um, oh my god, I remember watching, um, yeah, the Isla Hags, here we go. I remember watching NCS do this and he did like a Back to the Future scene when the train left the station here. Ooh. <clears throat> <coughs> oh wow. Ah, the Isle of Hags, we have not been here in a while, have we? At least five episodes. What a world, what a world. We've got literally a minute and a half to do what needs to be done here. This video might be just a bit longer than I expected, but oh well. That is what happens when you um, don't time things just right. Also, there's an asshole over there. Oh boy. But yeah, back to the whole Pokemon thing though. Yeah, I, I only played Pokemon that one time, so... I'm not a Pokemon fan. I haven't played Pokemon my whole life, so... I, you know, I haven't followed Pokemon or anything, so I don't really know about Pokemon that much. Um, I know, like, the basics of, like, the first 150. Mumbo wants to help and needs magic crit... Oh, are you kidding me? I never picked up the Globo earlier. Are you joking? Fucking Jesus. How am I so stupid that I didn't pick up the Globo earlier? Oh my god. Okay, fine. Okay. 
This video is going to be a little bit longer again, unfortunately, but that has to happen sometimes. Otherwise, I have to fucking wait for the next for this video to render so I can record the next one. Because like, I'll tell you a little bit about my process, right? A little bit more than I already did. But the way I do this is I have to, uh, my, my capture software has to render out the, the last video in full before I can start recording again. So I have to wait for a video to, to fully process before I can start recording again. And, and, and if my computer's being alright, it usually only takes like five minutes. But since I'm about to eat, that means that I'd have to stop this and I'd have to go straight back into it. Like, uh, oh god, you know what, I am, I am going to have to fucking stop. God damn it. I cannot have this video be this long. It's going to take at least another three or four minutes to do what I need to do. Um, okay, fine. I'll give you a nice screen of Mumbo. I know exactly what I want to do next anyway. A whole bunch of backtracking. So next episode, we'll do a whole bunch of backtracking. Until then, see you next time, everybody. Uh, see you next time. Um, there we go. Yeah, bye. <laughs>